Welcome to another SalesInc.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021-2024 Racing Rules of Sailing. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. In this video, we'll cover the rules related to the conduct of a race. These rules are in Part 3 and are important for both sailors and the race committee. Part 3 of the Racing Rules of Sailing covers conduct of a race. Here are the rules in Part 3. We'll cover only the rules that are most important to sailors. Here is Rule 25. We won't go over this rule in detail here since it applies more to the race committee than to sailors. The most important part for sailors is Rule 25.1, which states that the Notice of Race, the NOR, shall be made available to each boat that enters an event before she enters. The sailing instructions, the SIs, shall be made available to each boat before the race begins. The NOR and SIs have always been important to sailors. With the 2021 to 2024 rules changes, the NOR becomes even more important. Some information that was previously required in the SIs can now be stated in the NOR, and if so, is not repeated in the SIs. Appendix J to the rules contains an updated list of NOR and SI content. The NOR now must be made available before boats enter the event. Previously, it was only required to be made available before the race. The takeaway for sailors is to read both the NOR and the SIs. Here's Rule 26. Take a moment to read it. This is the starting sequence that racers are familiar with. Note that the raising and lowering of the flags, not the sound signals, give the official timing. This is true even though there is often an automatic start timer that sounds the signal at precisely the right time. As a sailor, how do you know when the race committee is going to sound the warning signal? There are several possibilities. Many race committees make the warning signal at the exact time shown in the NOR for the race start, without any alerts to sailors. Some race committees use a series of sounds as an assembly signal one minute before the warning. This is optional and not specified in the rules. Other race committees give a verbal countdown to the warning over the radio. If a race has been postponed on the water, the warning signal is made one minute after the postponement flag, the AP, is lowered. See the race signals page of the rule book. If a general recall has occurred, the warning signal is made one minute after the general recall flag, the first substitute is lowered. This is specified in Rule 29.2. Here's Rule 28. Take a moment to read it. There's nothing surprising here, but note a few key points. The start and finish now occur when any part of the boat's hull crosses the line, but not crew and equipment. This was a change in the 2021 rules. Previously, crew and equipment were also considered when starting or finishing. Second, remember that you don't have to cross the finish line completely. However, you haven't finished if you take a one or two turns penalty after finishing, or if you correct an error in sailing the course at the finish line. The 2021 to 2024 rules added a definition for sail the course. Let's go over it. The diagram shows the string mentioned in the definition. A boat sails the course if a string representing her track passes each mark of the course for the race on the required side and in the correct order, touches each mark designated in the sailing instructions to be a rounding mark, and passes between the marks of a gate from the direction of the course from the previous mark. This wording was previously part of Rule 28, but was moved to the definitions section. The 2021 rules also added a new scoring abbreviation, NSC, which means did not sail the course. This is important because the race committee can score you NSC without protesting you. So make sure you read the score sheet promptly and request redress if you think they made a mistake. Here's a boat that goes through the gate the wrong way. What does she have to do to correct the situation? The 
The answer is that she has to unwind the string by going backwards through the gate and then pass between the gates heading downwind. Rule 30 covers starting penalties. These starting penalties are important to know along with the flags they represent. There are four parts to Rule 30. Here's Rule 30.1, the I flag rule. We'll paraphrase it here. The full text is shown in the box to the right. When the I flag goes up at four minutes, you must be behind the line and its extensions during the last minute of the sequence. If not, you must round outside the end of the line before starting, as shown in the diagram. Here's Rule 30.2, the Z flag rule. If the Z flag goes up at four minutes, you must be out of the triangle shown in the diagram during the last minute of the sequence. The triangle is formed by the ends of the starting line and the first mark. If you're inside the triangle, you'll get a 20% scoring penalty. That's 20% of the number of votes. So if there are 25 votes in the race, you'll get five places added to your finish. If the race is restarted or resailed, this penalty still applies. If the race is postponed or abandoned, the penalty does not apply. Often, the race committee will show both the Z and I flags. If you're over early, you must round the end of the line before restarting, and you will still receive the 20% penalty. Here's Rule 30.3, the U flag rule. Just like the Z flag rule, you must be out of the triangle during the last minute, but the penalty is worse. If you're over early, you are disqualified. On the score sheet, you will be scored OCS, which means on course side. The only good news is that this penalty does not apply if the race is restarted or resailed. Finally, here's Rule 30.4, the black flag rule. Again, you must stay out of the triangle during the last minute. If not, you're disqualified without a hearing. The bad news is that this penalty applies even if the race is restarted, resailed, or if a general recall occurs, if a black flag race is restarted, the race committee will post the list of votes that were OCS before the race is restarted. If your number is posted, you can't sail the race. The penalty does not apply if the race is postponed or abandoned before the start. Here's Rule 31, touching a mark. Take a moment to read it. This rule simply says that you can't touch a mark. Couple of points to remember. The definition of a mark includes the mark itself, but not the anchor line. This rule also applies to touching a starting mark before starting and a finishing mark after finishing. Remember that Rule 44.1 requires you to take a one-turn penalty when you break Rule 31. Here's Rule 32. The text is long, so we'll paraphrase it. After the start, the race committee can shorten the course or abandon the race. To shorten the course, they raise the S flag with two sounds. To abandon, they raise the N, the N over H, or the N over A flags with three sounds. Finding the finish line on a shortened course can get tricky. There are three options for the race committee to set the new finish line. The first option is at a rounding mark. The finish line will be between the mark and the S flag on the race committee boat. The second option is at a gate. In this case, the line will be between the two gate marks. The S flag will be displayed, but it is not part of the line. The last option will be at some line that the course requires the boats to cross. This is not common. Here's Rule 33. We've also paraphrased this rule. The race committee can change a leg of the course. They will do this at a rounding mark by changing the position of the next mark or the finishing line. They signal the change with a C flag and repetitive sounds, usually a whistle. The change will be a new direction or a different length for the next leg. To show the new direction, they will display a new compass bearing and or a red or green triangle. Red means change in direction to the left and green means to the right. 
To show the new length, they will display a plus or minus symbol. Note that the next mark doesn't need to be in position at the time of the signal. The rule allows the race committee to change subsequent legs without signaling to maintain the shape of the course, but race committees will often signal additional changes. Finally, here's Rule 37. Rule 37 was added to the rules for 2021 to 2024. This rule enhances safety. If search and rescue becomes necessary, the race committee can raise flag V with one sound. All boats should then monitor the radio communication channel for instructions. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.